This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Speed Changes in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to create a fit-to-fill edit where the speed of the inserted clip is altered to match the duration you need it to fill in the timeline. Here's an example of a constant speed edit that has to meet certain particulars. It's got to be a specific duration. This footage was shot by Terry Holland with some drone footage. We're looking at the Housatonic Dam. And lovely, lovely shot. And I need to put something in, something that says vacation and relaxing. And then I'll cut to this shot. So I know that I've got a hole here that I have to fill. And I'm going to fill it with... Let's see, I'm going to fill it with a fly fishing shot. Take a look here. We've got a fisherman in the middle of the river, in the Berkshires. And we have another fisherman. But they're so far apart. It'd be nice if I could sort of condense that for time, because I'd like to put it right here in the gap. So here's how this works. You find the first shot right about there and set it in. Set an out on where you want the shot to end. So I've got an in and an out in the source monitor. Then in the timeline, set an in where you want the shot to start. Set an out where you want the shot to end. So I have an in and an out in the source and in and out in the timeline and type a period. This opens up the fit clip window and we want to change the clip speed to fit to fill. I typed a period and opened up that window and click OK. Instantly, it fills that hole with the shot and changes the speed of the shot so it fits within the duration of that hole without me having to do any calculations at all. It's called a fit-to-fill edit. It's a, it's a constant speed change, but it's a constant speed change to fit a specific duration, which is defined by the in and the out in the timeline and the in and the out in the source monitor. Now let's just make that a whole lot shorter, right about there. And now type it, fit to fill, OK. And now when we play it back, it's a little less aggressively sped up. Isn't that cool? This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Speed Changes in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 314. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.